Welcome back. It is Chris Nichols here with Bow River Trout Fitters. Elliot and I are enjoying a beautiful day out here in the mountains. What we want to talk to you guys today about is the five must-have things that you should bring to have a successful and safe mountain trip fishing. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about is your sprays. I mean, yeah, absolutely, sunscreen's a good idea, bug spray if you want it, but most important, you need bear spray. If you're going to be traveling out here in the backcountry, this is absolutely essential. I mean, when we're fishing, we're going to sources of water. Animals need those sources of water too. We're often going to be pretty quiet, but, you know, try to talk to yourself if you're alone or talk to your friend if you're with them. You'll make some noise, but you absolutely want to have this in a proper hip holster ready to go. If a bear charges you, this is probably your best deterrent out there. Okay, number two might seem obvious, but you're going to want a fly rod, but we want to specifically talk about what kind of fly rods we suggest for out here in the mountains. So, today Elliot and I both got three weight rods, which is really nice when you don't have a lot of wind. It's perfect for the small creeks like the Old Man and the Livingston. It'll work for a lot of the creeks that you have at home as well. Floating line, you know, 4x liters, 5x liters, that's about it. And then we're going to bring our flies. We actually have some good videos out there you should watch on flies that we recommend out here in the mountain streams. Now, we do often, though, recommend a four weight if you're only going to take one because out here, certainly, we can get some wind picking up. And if it does, you're going to want that little extra oomph just to be able to drive those flies through the breeze. Three weights are a lot of fun, but a four weight is probably more versatile. The last thing I'll leave you with as well, we've got big bull trout in some of these pools. So once in a while, if we're so inclined, we might even bring a six or seven weight rod with a sink tip and big white flies to get them down into those deep pockets and see if we bring up a big bully. Now, number three very important thing to have is the right clothing before you go on a mountain walk and wait. I mean, you might be going quite a distance from your car and the weather out here in the Rockies can change very quickly. So far it's been a pretty nice day, but we've had thunderstorm warnings all over this area. And if it comes in, you're going to want to get a nice sweater in your bag just to keep warm and some sort of waterproof rain jacket. Very important. Obviously we like fishing guide jackets, but anything will keep the rain off over your sweater that's really good. If you get cold and wet out here and the wind picks up, it can actually be deadly. All right, so for our next topic, first thing I want to mention, I get this whole sort of minimalist approach to going out to the mountain stream, just wandering creeks with nothing but a small box of flies and your favorite plaid shirt, cowboy hat on, Brad Pitt, river runs through it, through all these things, just as minimal as possible. And it's romantic, but it's not necessarily safe. So we really recommend that you actually have a good backpack with you. It doesn't have to be submersible like this, but the fish pond thunderhead submersibles are fantastic if you've ever dry. But you really want to have plenty of food and water. You want to have first aid kit, that bear spray we talked about, plus all of your accessories, your tippet, your net, you know, maybe a backup rod so you can fish for those bull trout. It really makes sense to have a good backpack to take with you. It might seem overkill, but especially if you're hiking for long distances away from your vehicle and away from your place, definitely want to have this as your home base. All right, number five must have things that you need before you go fly fishing in the mountains, proper footwear. Look, I get that when you go camping, you might just wear your Crocs or an old pair of hiking boots or something, but if you're going to be fishing a lot of the waters we fish, especially when we enter into canyon sections, you're going to be fording the stream back and forth a lot, and you really do not want to have an accident out here, especially if you're alone. In fact, I just slipped today in the water. I'm lucky that I'm okay, but you have to have proper footwear. So I get that fly fishing boots are expensive, but you want a good pair. We like Vibram soles because they don't transfer a lot of us, you know, bio matter, like felt mite from stream bed to stream bed. But we also like cleats in there is a good idea. And you know, you don't have to get fully weighted up I and mean, we're just wearing quick dry pants but there are boots that are made specifically for wet wading or even just with a pair of guard socks that you can fold up put the boots on and then fold those down and fish in shorts if you want regardless make sure that your boots are made for fishing and keep it safe out there now one thing we have no shortage of out here in Alberta is just beautiful mountain streams. We're very lucky, but if I was gonna throw a number six on there, especially today, it would be lots and lots of giant cutthroat trout, but well, that's not really up to us. Luckily, Nelly and I, we've managed to rise a few of them anyways. Hopefully you guys found this top five things that you have to have very useful uh, you know, and educational. Please do leave questions below. Leave comments for other stuff that you suggest bringing out to these rivers and creeks. We'd love to hear your suggestions as well. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. That's easy to do. And if you want some more gear, check out BowRiverTroutFitters.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon with more episodes.